Steve here with OptiLube. We're going to do a little test today. It's an unscientific test, of course. We get frequent testimonies about our product, Oil Fortifier. What we thought we would do, we were going to take two lawnmowers. We bought brand new ones. We're going to put Oil Fortifier in one of them and just use regular oil in the other one. Just a basic lawnmower that we bought. What we want to test here is one, temperature. We bought a gauge to do that. Noise level, the decibel meter. Fuel consumption was another thing and RPM. It'll probably be governed, so that probably won't be as valid as a, of a test. But at least we'll be able to figure out if oil fortifier does anything to one more as opposed to the one that doesn't have it in it. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add the same amount of fuel to each one, see which one runs out first. We're assuming that the oil fortified one will go the longest. The testimonies we get on oil fortifier is that it helped out my car, it helped out my diesel, our mechanic put it in his lawnmower that had a knock in it and he said it took it away. So anyway, we thought this would be a good un unscientific test to try it out. We get testimonies all the time about how people love that product. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, first of all for the fuel consumption test, we decided to put about 28 ounces of fuel in each one. The only reason why we picked that is because there was a line on our quart bottle at 28 ounces. So we're going to put the same amount in each one and see which one runs out first. Did you get a shot of the bottles, Coleman, so we know nobody's cheating? Yep. Good. I'm sure glad we didn't go to 32. <laughs> okay, let's make sure everything's out. I might have spilled maybe a, not even a teaspoon. Okay, and I might have, I spilled about the same amount, so I, I mean it's got to be within a, a fraction of an ounce on each one. Okay, so we got the same amount of gas in each one. Okay, next we're going to add our oil. I just went and bought a brand name oil, 32 ounces. Each one of the capacities of these lawnmowers is 15 ounces and they ship them to you dry. So we're going to go ahead and put fresh brand new oil in it. Take that out and open up my oil. Okay. This is the one we'll just put straight oil in. Don't want to overfill. So the bottle had almost exactly 32 inches according to the little sight last thing. There we go. I put in half of it in there. Now we'll go to our other one. We won't go quite all of it because we got to leave some for the oil fortifier, some room. Now the specification calls for on oil fortifier, on initially when you put it in, go an ounce and a half per quart of whatever oil capacity you're using. Basically what we call it is just a super lubricant. Um, you can use it on any engine, differential, a lot, of, a lot of guys are using it in transmissions, but the thing you don't want to use it in is an automatic transmission or a limited slip differential because they depend on somewhat friction of some kind. So we tell people don't use any of that. So if we go with our specification of 
an ounce and a half per quart. Supposing that shot glass from low range off-road is a ounce, we'll fill it about three quarters. Okay. So this one's fortified, the other one's not. And we'll go from there. Start them up and see what it does. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start the two of them at the same time. See how long they run. Okay, so we're in an hour and 38 minutes, hour and 38 minutes, and so that's three minutes longer on the one that had the OptiLube in it. Okay, the conclusion of our lawnmower test, our oil fortifier test, I should say, was one, one with oil fortifier with 28 ounces of fuel in each one, the same exact, ran three minutes longer than the one without. We had to wind up turning it around and putting them the same way because we wanted the same sun load, the same slope, so there couldn't be any question about whether it was going to run out of fuel the fastest. We checked decibels all through the test. Uh, they were virtually the same. It didn't change the sound any, uh, which probably makes sense. But what it did do, the most important thing was we checked the heat with an infrared sensor all the way through it. We had results reading through it and they, it measured all the way from 10, the last test was, that was taken was 30 degrees cooler in the oil fortified lawnmower than the other one, which we were very happy with. Consistently it was, tw it was at least 15 to 20. So at least we know that the motor is gonna run a lot cooler taking a shot at the same spot with an infrared uh, uh, heat sensor. So the conclusion is, of course, if it works on a lawnmower this size, what's it gonna do with your vehicle, your truck, whatever you're using it in? You can use oil fortifier, not just engines, differentials, transmissions, you name it. Very happy with the test. You can get more information about oil fortifier on the website.